What's up you guys? It's the Bitcoin guy. Just figured I'd make a video about how I automate my computer because there's nothing more annoying than being 800 miles away from your computer on a trip and it stops working and you can't do anything about it. So, um, I just had to get a little bit creative with uh, making it, you know, so I could um, control it remotely even when it uh, freezes or whatever, because that's happened a couple of times lately. It's been pretty stable, but I just have some extra precautions. Of course, I got my four 1080 Ti's right here. I've got a hidden little, you can barely even see that. It's kind of not organized extremely well, <laughs> but whatever, it works. Um, that's an Asus, uh, that's an RX, that's a Radeon RX 580 with four gigs of RAM. Anyway, so here I've got it running nice hash. So the first thing I do is, uh, well, first of all, nice hash is pretty, um, I guess, I don't know, it's not the most profitable, but it is the easiest to set up in my opinion. Um, so firstly, I go in here and I check on, oh, uh, it's looking like, anyway, well, it's not going to let me do it while it's mining. Whatever, I'll, I'll just stop it for a second and show you. So... Um, I'm going to go in here, click on hardware details. You can see I only have one of my algorithms for each uh, card enabled. So, and that's the most profitable one. I benchmarked them and then I just left them the most profitable so it's not switching all the time because sometimes that causes the computer to uh, freeze up. And that might just be because I have not a ton of RAM or because my power supply isn't good enough or, you know, my CPU, whatever. But... Whatever the case is, that does help it to be more stable um, and it's still just as profitable. And the other thing I do is I have TeamViewer, which is a little, um, oops, little application program that I use for all my computers. Um, and uh, basically it just allows you to connect. I'm not gonna show you the password. <laughs> um, it basically allows you to connect uh, to remote computers and be able to control it remotely. That way, if there is an issue and it's something I can fix remotely, I can just, um, you know, take control from wherever I am in the world with a Wi-Fi connection or data, whatever, and, um, you know, restart it or redo the, uh, just restart, um, nice hash. Then anyway, uh, down here, I have everything going through this which is my two power supplies and, no, let's see, that's one, yeah, that's two power supplies and the uh, cable that goes to my monitor, that's what it is. Then right here, at the very back, it's connected to a, I went to Best Buy and got this uh, TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini. So, really nice, um, super helpful, and I realized that if I for whatever reason, if I turn it off and then turn it back on fast enough, the computer restarts itself. <laughs> it's not really supposed to do that. It's supposed to just stay shut down. Um, but it's really convenient. And uh, I guess if there were ever an issue and I couldn't get back here in time and I were traveling, I would still be able to at least shut down the computer so it's not wasting energy if for whatever reason it froze. Um, yeah, so uh, that's very useful. And then last of all, I have a laptop over here. Um, you can see it's kind of a mess in here. I've got a laptop uh, that's normally on. It's not right now because I'm here, but when I'm away, it uh, has the camera on the webcam and it's just on 24 seven. I can also remote into it. And that way, uh, oops, I might have to edit that <laughs> with the password. That way with the, um, uh, I, I can remote into that laptop and zoom in on the screen for my rig and see you know what its status is if it's like frozen or whatever anyway pretty simple um hopefully that made some sense let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other better ways of doing stuff I'm, i know there are better ways uh this is just the things that i threw together to make it work for me um had to be a little bit creative Leave a like on the video if you like the stuff that I make. I'll make some more tutorials about mining itself. And, um, you know, thanks for watching. And make sure you subscribe for future videos. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.